Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf out here today at Ping Proving Grounds uh, because there's a new driver in the Ping G430 lineup. And I'm here with James Lee, a master fitter uh, for Ping. Uh, and well, you got both drivers here. And you're, well, you got the Ping G430 10K, Max 10K, and you have the Ping G430 Max. So the story here today is going to be the new G430 Max 10K and kind of really what the purpose is of that driver. And so uh, let's start there with the, the 10K model. Um, when Ping was kind of designing this one and putting it together, producing it. Um, what was the, really the purpose you guys had for adding this into the G430 lineup? So this is just a drop-in. It's not a replacement right. for the G430 Max, the mm -hmm. LST, the SFT. It comes in three lofts, the 9, 10 and a half, and 12. But the main difference is this one now has carbon flight technology mm -hmm. like the LST does. The Max doesn't have the carbon flight technology. So if you think of the LST yep. and the Max combined, mm -hmm. That's what the 10K is. Now the 10K, the reason why it's 10K is 10,000, it's on an MOI scale. Yeah. So that's how much more forgiving it is. Now it is the same 460 cc's, but if you look at it from the front to the back is a little bit longer. I do see that, yeah. And you'll see this piece, this right in here. Mm -hmm. But the carbon flight technology is able to remove weight from the crown and move it where the CG shifter is, okay. lower, further back. So this could launch potentially launch a little bit higher yeah, yeah. but it is a lot straighter yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's really good um the main thing is like i said this doesn't adjust anymore mm. the max the sft the lst all have the cg shifter that you can move in different positions sure. one position here mm -hmm. so that's the main difference so the the main difference essentially is like that thing is going to just produce a straight ball flight or much straighter much straighter um, and then especially if you're if you're the tinkerer and you like that CG shifter, it's gonna be still on the max. Correct. Um, but that thing, uh, I, I like the story behind it of you know adding some some weight towards the back, right? But then still introducing the carbon fly wrap, which right. is on the LST. So there's kind of the like you said, it's almost mirroring some of the best properties of the yes. max and the LST. That's exactly what it's doing. So um, I think what's gonna happen today too is we get to test both. So we're gonna test, or at least I'm gonna be swinging the G430 Max, G430 Max 10K. And then we've got TrackMan here. We're right. gonna we'll look at some, some differences, and, and maybe James will I'll do some fitting magic for me. For uh, sure. So um, we've already seen it today already. We've so seen it already. So, um, <laughs> I'm ready to get started. Let's do it. That's a good start right there. Yeah. I know it's a little low, but yeah, a little low on the face, but middle of the fairway is good. That's uh, that's I'm not gonna be upset about that one ever. So. Was that toe? It was or, a okay. closed face. That is a that is a user error. Yeah, a little toe. Club the, path was good and your face to path was good. I do, that is, I will say, my tendency is to miss on the toe. Okay. Um, that is, I rarely, it's a, is it a heel ball? It's a toe ball that, and that is the, uh, that is the result of my misses. That's better. So I'm going to change one setting. Okay. Already knows it right away. I love that. <laughs> so what I'm doing is moving the CG shifter. Okay. To the fade position. Mm, yep. Because I do have that uh, into out path. Right. You know. And it's turning over a little bit too much. So not as much. Yeah, it definitely started. Right. It felt like it started a little bit farther. It did right. start a little further right. But I do have a, you know, that is kind of the. Is that as your miss tendency? The, the miss, the miss tendency is to like turn it over too much. Okay. You know, with perfect. Because like I have one more setting. Sometimes. So yeah. I'll have you hit a few, and I have one more setting I can okay. change it to. Look right there. That's perfect. Yeah, that is smash. great ball there. That might be in like <laughs> California. Great ball. 170 ball speed. Lever launch, Ooh. 2100 spin, 293, Ooh. 322. Ship it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> mm. So now you're getting a little bit looser. Yep, definitely. That CU shifter is showing what it's supposed to do. 172 ball speed. I 
like that. It was a little farther in out, I think. Yeah, but that's fine. It's not turning over. Right. No, it's, it's definitely not hooking, which is... Right. I can't say that about... 300, 315. I mean, sign me up. <laughs> one more. Okay. I'm going to change... One more or one more adjustment? I'm going to change one more adjustment. Yep. I just want to see. So, first I moved the CG shifter to the fade. Yep. Now I'm going into the flat setting, which flattens it mm. out by three degrees. Okay. Because when I'm going through fittings, I don't want someone to hold off on a shot because of their miss. Yeah. Like, okay, you know your shot, your miss is left, so mm -hmm. you don't swing all the way through, right. you're holding on. I want you to just swing it. I make the adjustments yep. to you, not you to the club. Right. Everybody should be swinging their own swing. And Absolutely. Then, yep. That's. And my swing at the moment is uh, in to out, kind of almost, I don't want to say top spin, but I kind of roll it over sometimes. See, that was toe? That was off the toe. Yeah. yeah. So off the toe, doesn't matter what setting I put it in, it's going to go left on you. Right. Like oh, that. totally. Yeah. That's, but like even <laughs> right. that compared to my first ball, right, is a big difference. So. And your ball speed was still 170. Was it? Yeah. That did not feel like 170. 170 ball speed, 275, 315. I still hit that 315. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's, that's the best it right ball. There. That's the best ball of the day. So that was flat dot CG shifter fade position. Okay. That's the best ball of the day. And that's how you can just swing. That was your fastest ball speed. 300, 330. Look where that is on the center line. Or it's on the center. Line. It's, it's, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch you up. So that's your setting. Yeah, I think that's it. That. <laughs> wow. That was so good. And that was your fastest club head speed. Okay. So that was that just tells me you, you trusted. I did. The settings and yep. you s swung away. Sometimes I'll tell people, uh, hey, we're playing in a scramble. Mm -hmm. Three of us already teed off. We're in the fairway. I need yep. you to pound yep. one out oh, there. Oh yeah. I, right. My friends will go to me in that situation. And, All right, uh, so now we're going to go 10K. I like it. Okay. With the same settings. Okay, going flat. Except the CG shifter, right, which I right. can't change. Right. But we're going to go flat. Okay. And we are going with the 10K. There you go. Let's see it. Wow. So the 10K, I definitely can see what you were talking about earlier with you see kind of a little bit more behind the ball. Right. Just a little bit. Not like it's, it's not by any means like a, you know, it's not egregious or anything like that, but you notice it. So that was a good miss. It was. And it's it went straight. Yeah, it was straight. I mean, it's one of the straighter balls I've hit today. And I hit it off the heel, or at least low in the face. 2,300 spin. 300, it's 10 still yards, 300 yard ball. 10 yards off the center of the fairway. In the fairway. Good miss. <laughs> Come over the top. A little low in the face. Yeah, also low in the face. It's like over the top and low, and then just user error. One seventy-two ball speed. Oh yeah. Two ninety, three twenty. I like how consistent that spin is on these those three shots, despite yes. hitting it very different right. spots on the club face. Right at 2,300. Yeah. See, that's new. Okay, that makes sense. 300, 320. 12 launch, 26 spin. Because I, it's like, the trouble I get into sometimes is having too little spin, mm. which makes, you know, because I, like, especially if I hit that, that toe ball that I've been right, talking right. about, that thing can just kind of dive out of the sky. So you're not an LST guy then. So <laughs> I, I don't need to, to lower my spin probably. Right. Just because I always hit up on it pretty good. Like I'm, yeah, like 4.2 attack angle. So. And the 10K is going to spin a little less than the max. It will. But okay. more than the LST. Sure. It's going to be in between. It's right that in between. Sense. That and makes sense. You put both heads together, you got the 10K. 
Another one a little low. low in the face there. Yeah. 2300 spin, 283.10. But see, that's I, I love that the spin is still staying yeah. there. Very like consistent on the spin. Because look at how different my launch angles are. Right. That's just me. But the not spin stayed it. right at 23. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I like that. That was a bad swing. Might be. That's not going to come down for a while. <laughs> yeah. That went farther vertically than horizontally, it felt like. So do you, um, do you ever try to work a driver? Like try to hit some cut shots? Um, I, I will on occasion try to hit a cut shot. So I want to see that okay. with this one. So you can see what workability you can get out of the max. Okay. The 10K, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I, I on occasion will. Okay. Max. I mean, if there's a dog leg right, I mean, you're, you're going to want to try to put a little baby right. cut on it possibly. So that's what I want you to do here. Okay. Hit a couple of different shots. I already know you have the draw in your bag. I do have that, yeah. <laughs> I want to see a couple draw, of cut shots. Hook shot. But, okay. So I will play this. Let's see. Let's say I aim it at the... Cover the, shot. The ping, yeah. On and there. finish, like, maybe right of the white pole. Okay. Let's try that. Well, if I... Well, it started the cover shot. <laughs> it was a cut. <laughs> and it's going right, of the, right at the white pole, just a little low. I was trying to keep it out of the wind. <laughs> That's it right there. Oh, that's beautiful. So I didn't want you to think that like it's only just going to go straight. You right. can still you work. Can, the I can 10K. still do, yeah. A straighter ball flight. Straighter ball flight, but if you needed to work it, you can. 293, 12. Spin's going to be up. Yeah. To be expected. On a cut. 27, right? right? But still not crazy. And I, it's, I mean, that's still plenty yeah. of distance. Like 293, 12 is for a cut shot for you. Yeah. Is great. So I think there is a perception maybe out there that if you play a cut or a fade, like you give up X number of yards, which in theory, you probably give up a little bit. But right. I mean, hit it at 312 still with a big power no, cut. No, that's I solid. Would... Well, that's like, that's like the babyest fade ever, I think. Because <laughs> I hit it like at my starting Three target. ball speed. Woo. It's so spicy. Yeah. Nine degrees, 24, 100 spin. All right, here comes another power cut. It's going to happen. Or just a lower draw. That was interesting. Did that fly weird, or was that me? No, you, I mean, you just came across a little bit. Oh, did I? Minus three, because you were trying to hit that cut. Yeah, I have to work really hard to hit a cut, yeah. as you're seeing. But I wanted you to just see that you're still able to do that. Oh, yeah. You being a good golfer, you yeah. still should have that shot in your bag, right? Oh, and yeah. And the 10K is going to give that to you as well. Yep. Yep. Give me one more. So I want to hit the cut? Yep. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see how this thing can... Oh, that's it. There it is. That's it right there. Took me There's your cut shot. But... Yeah. And that started like just right yep. at the cover shot. Yep. And then cut over. I mean, because, you know, again, dog leg right, that's your shot yep. right there. Oh, yeah. Took me a few swings to do it, but I got 276, it. 296. Yeah. Spins up, which to be expected. Yeah. All right, give me a straight ball to finish. Hmm. I lost my swing a little bit there. That's fine. 293, 12, a little so, left. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, as a, if you were fitting me, uh -huh. would you say the G430 Max when the the setting in the, the CG in shifter the towards the toe? Yeah, or would you like the 10K? No, I'd, I'd still put you in the 10K. Okay. Just just swing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would definitely keep in the 10K. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, still phenomenal testing across the board here. I mean, really good stuff. And clearly the ball speed's there. The right. forgiveness there. Consistency on the spin is really impressive. Right. Um, I really like what I'm seeing from both of them, for sure. Right.
All right, James, testing complete there of the, well, we had the G430 Max 10K, and then we also hit some shots right, right away with the G430 Max. So um, in the testing, I thought, you know, first of all, we, in, with the G430 Max, moved that shifter to the toe side, and then with the 10K, um, I was really impressed by the spin consistency. For you sure. know, there was a few shots where I was sitting a little low on the face. My, right. I kind of lost my gyro swing there a little bit, um, but the, the distance it was going and the consistency of the spin and it was also a little bit more spin, which for me, I probably need. Um, I think that's what I love most about the 10K nice. for me. Um, in terms of the, the fitting now, you kind of moved a few things, flat setting and stuff. So right. from that perspective, what was like, can you kind of recap the fitting yeah, that absolutely. you did for me, maybe for both heads? Right. So we started with the, the G430 Max and your miss is left. Yeah. So I put it the CG shifter in the fade setting mm -hmm. and that helped a little bit, but it was still going a little left. So then I went into a flat setting which takes it about three degrees flatter. Yeah. And then you were just hitting them straight. Yeah. So your club path was still a little inside and yeah. turn it over. So this worked for you really mm -hmm. well. But then when I put the 10 K in your hand, now we can't move that CG shifter right. It's in one location, but I'm still able to flatten it out. So I went three degrees flatter and you were still able to go even straighter. Yeah. Yeah. I was, and then also you had me hit, you know, a few cut shots. And right. So you talked about like, this is, it's going to, it's going to be a straight ball flight or straighter ball flight, but if you're still trying to work the ball, you know, and that's why you're probably seeing guys put this in on tour because those Absolutely. guys are working the ball every time they tee off. Right. But uh, they still are getting some high ball speeds and some forgiveness out of this driver while still being able to work it, which right. is, I saw the benefit of that too. During the and then remember when I told you about the confidence level, I said, give me a little faster swing. Yeah. And you didn't lose it. It still right. went straight for Oh you. yeah, for sure, for sure. So with the 10K now, we kind of, uh, we always ask the question, you know, who is it for? And this is a bit of a, a complex, maybe nuanced answer for this one, right. because I think a lot of people are going to maybe, you know, maybe see the name 10K for the driver. Thought you talked about the MOI and think, okay, right. this is for you know players seeking forgiveness and it, you know, but obviously it's being put in on tour, so absolutely it can be for a wide range it's, of players. It's for everybody. Yeah. Now it is a larger head. Um, some people that were playing the LST might not go to a larger head, yeah. but for the forgiveness factor mm -hmm. and hitting it straight, and you can still work the ball. The G430 yeah. Max 10K is it. Yeah, so it's going to be one of those, like, we are going to encourage players to go get fit. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, if you haven't yet and you need a driver upgrade, the G430 family as a whole is going to be uh, your, our, it's always our, our top choice in the fitting bay. But now have this option in there to kind Absolutely. of mix in with the Max and the LST. Um, it's going to be one that if you're curious about it, make sure you go get fit, dial in the numbers. Um, just like James did for me today. So for sure. um, golfers schedule that fitting. James, thank you for the You're time welcome. today. This was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Um, really great um, addition to the G430 driver line here yes. from playing with a 10K. For sure.